General Physics 1 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. To continue with our learning thrust about measurement of physical quantities, let us explore uncertainties and deviation, sources and types of errors. The uncertainty of a measurement tells us something about its quality. Uncertainty of measurement is the doubt that exists about the result of any measurement. You might think that well-made rulers, clocks and thermometers should be trustworthy and should give the right answers. But for every measurement, even the most careful, there is always a margin of doubt. In everyday speech, this might be expressed as give or take, for example, a stick might be 2 meters long, give, or take, a centimeter. There is no such thing as perfect measurement. A scientist can give only the best estimate of the correct value, along with its uncertainty. If the length of a sample is given as 245 plus or minus 3 millimeters, then the correct value probably lies between 245 minus 3 and 245 plus 3, or 242 millimeters and 248 millimeters. The limit of uncertainty is 3 millimeters, in this case, this is not an absolute limit, but only probability. Accuracy is a degree of agreement between a measured value and the true value. This refers to the degree to which the measurement corresponds to the accepted value. Precision refers to the degree of the instrument's exactness. The precision of a measurement refers to the agreement of all the measurements done repeatedly in the same manner. Random and systematic errors. The effects that give rise to uncertainty in measurement can be either random, where repeating the measurement gives a randomly different result. If so, the more measurements you make and then average, the better estimate you generally can expect to get. Systematic, where the same influence affects the result for each of the repeated measurements, but you may not be able to tell. In this case, you learn nothing extra just by repeating measurements. Other methods are needed to estimate uncertainties due to systematic effects, example, different measurements or calculations. It is important not to be confused with the terms error and uncertainty. Error is the difference between the measured value and the true value of the thing being measured. Uncertainty is a quantification of the doubt about the measurement result. Whenever possible, we try to correct for any known errors, for example, by applying corrections from calibration certificates. But any error whose value is not known is a source of uncertainty. You can increase the amount of information you get from your measurements by taking a number of readings and carrying out some basic statistical calculations. The two most important statistical calculations are finding the average or arithmetic mean and the standard deviation for a set of numbers. Variance is the square of the standard deviation. Finding the variance is another way to estimate errors from multiple measurements of a physical quantity. To calculate the variance of a set of measurement. Number 1. Get the mean. Number 2. Take the deviation. Number 3. Square the deviation. Number 4. Get the sum of the squared deviation. And number 5. Divide the sum by the number of measurements. In symbols, variance is denoted by the square of Greek lowercase letter sigma. The square root of variance, sigma squared, is the standard deviation denoted by sigma.
study these examples. During an experiment in a physics laboratory class, a group of five students was asked to measure the period of a simple pendulum. They came up with the following measurements. 2.3 seconds, 2.4 seconds, 2.2 seconds, 2.5 seconds, and 2.1 seconds. Determine the mean, the variance, the standard deviation, and the measured period of the pendulum. Please take a look at the preceding solution. Number 2. In a physics laboratory class, a group of three students was asked to measure the height of a cylinder. Their measurements were as follows. 5.25 centimeters, 5.27 centimeters, and 5.26 centimeters. Calculate the mean, variance, standard deviation, and the height of the cylinder. Here's the solution. Again, as part of learning assessment, here is another activity for you to perform. Number 1. The following are the values obtained in measuring the temperature of a room. 31.0 degrees Celsius, 30.5 degrees Celsius, 30.0 degrees Celsius, 31.3 degrees Celsius, and 31.1 degrees Celsius. What is the mean? Estimate the variance and the standard deviation. What is the room temperature? Number 2. In an experiment, 10 trials were done to determine the range of the projectile, measured as follows. Determine the mean, the variance, the standard deviation, and the measured range of the projectile. 